Was stealing Sean White's medals tough? Of course not. It was the perfect crime. In fact, I just crept in, stole the medals right off of his bedside table. And no one, and I mean no one, is gonna stop me. Oh. <laughs> Our Canadian friend Cody Williams is excited to announce his first major mall sponsor, Auntie Anne's, because that motherfucker is having pretzels like every single fucking day. Snowboarder Magazine, could you do us all a favor and stop using the Facebook media strategy of a 13 year old girl with all these Flash Black Fridays, Throwback Thursdays, Remember Whens. Now, playing old videos is fine, but when 95% of your Facebook content is a video that happened between one and two years ago, it's not long enough for you to reminisce about yet. Do us a favor and start uploading the mass amount of videos that I know you guys have that don't exist on the internet yet, because if we wanted to watch all of your old videos from three years ago, we would just get on the internet and go do that. But we don't. I've come to understand that Rome will be releasing its Finding Snowboarding movie in parts and part one at Kazakhstan has just dropped. Now Ian Bull has discovered firsthand the dangers of installing pipelines here in America. Now can you imagine the carnage that would occur? I mean, he flew all the way to Kazakhstan to ride on this tube and it handed him his ass in HD. I don't think we need those here. Now LNP, you're kind of freaking me out with the whole shaved head thing. You went from the picture that comes with all those hippie costumes in the 1970s at any shitty costume store to like, I'm gonna eat your face and I'm a gnarly biker. Just like that, all of a sudden you went from complete gypsy to fucking, I'm gonna eat your soul. Really remarkable. But the standout to me in this video was Ozzy Henning, who manages to break his arm but still get more hits than a fight video on world star hip hop. Then he goes and eats horse meat, puts his tongue on a goat testicle, and then pays off a security guard so he can hit a rail for a half hour. Now, he has one try to hit this rail with a stomach full of horse and goat testicles, and he stomps it with a broken arm. So was it a good trip for Ozzy Henning? <laughs> yeah, I would say it was a good trip for Ozzy Henning. You know what doesn't get hated on enough in hate line? Hate line. Welcome to a segment called Hate Hate Line. Welcome to Hate Hate Line, where we hate on Hate Line. Stan, you're not a fucking ninja. Get a real goddamn job, all right? Hating on snowboarders is not a job. Snowboarders aren't gonna stop beaching, and somebody has to call them out on it. What are you talking about? This lazy sap just sits in here squeezing the heads of birds, pretending he's rich, throwing money around. He lives in a fantasy world. This is a fucking green screen, Stan. This is nothing, nothing. <sighs> what else do I hate? Capita just put out another Stay Badass teaser, this time with Dylan Gamash, and it leads me to believe there is footage of Dylan at Yagu that the world has not seen yet. Oh my god! Upon watching the 32 edit at Timberline, I've come to realize that when no one was looking, 32 put together one of the best teams in snowboarding. Make a movie. Make a movie. Make a movie! No, I'm just kidding. Don't make a movie. Those things don't make any money. What I'm gonna talk about next is massively insane to me, and I'm gonna do my best to express my true feelings about the golf board. The opening line in this video is amazing. Yeah, they're all, we're not your grandfather's country club. I don't want to be like my grandfather's country club. Yeah! My grandfather's country club! Of course, implying that your grandfather actually also owns a country club, but yes, his country club is way worse. It's where the really rich and the really white old people go. You know, the ones that probably still hate gay people a little bit. Now, I would be moderately interested in purchasing one of these things if there was no governor on the motor, there was no wheels at all, and it was just a hoverboard, and fuck it, while we're at it, let's just cut out the whole golf thing. But they really just lost me in this frame here when I come to realize that this thing is nothing more than a glorified motor scooter. And that is the last thing the world needs. 
Burton just put out a teaser for their new video project called Burton Presents with this amazing one-shot intro. Burton, ah, oh, this is awesome. I remember when you guys did that way back last year, the last time you tried to do a video project. I am a huge fan of Kelly Clark Scientist though, I have to say, big fan. And now welcome to a section of the show that I like to call Trash Tracks, where we decide which edit has used a worse song. First edit is coming from Really Gotta Wanna, and their use of this horrible, horrible house music song that isn't even used, ironically. You Gotta Wanna is gonna be taking on Nate Jenkins' summer camp edit from Next Level Summer Camp, where he uses the power of Jesus to empower us. Now, though this was a tough one, I'm gonna have to hand this one to Jeff because that backflip he did where he rips the pants off was completely ridiculous. So Jeff wins. No, loses. Both. In this game, it's, it's both. Oh! Life for me is just weed and bruise. You the whole block to you when your name is Q. 